So I know that I am sick, so please kind of excuse my voice. Nonetheless, I'm still gonna create this video. So I get so many questions on my channel about my dimming brush, and this is my dimming brush, and if you notice that it only has four rows. And the reason being is that I modified my dimming brush. I had so many questions about what type of dimming brush do I have, um, what's the name of it, the style of it, because they cannot find a dimming brush that is similar to this one. Well, this dimming brush originally had eight rows in it. What I do with my dimming brushes is I modify them to fit my hair type. Considering that my hair is very thick and it's extremely dense, I cannot use a brush with tons and tons of bristles. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I modify my dimming brush. Now, by no means do you have to have the name brand dimming. I think I own a Conair brush similar to this, and I also own a Goody brush similar to this. There are also cheaper options for the dimming brush. They work the exact same way and they do the exact same thing. I've even found a brush that was similar to these at the dollar store. So by no means do you have to go out and purchase a $10 brush. You can get brushes for $5, $6, even $1 that will pretty much do the exact same thing as a Demon brush. So this brush that I have here, as you can see how tightly packed this one is. This one is not a Demon, but the brand has rubbed off, so I'm thinking that it's probably a Goody brand or a Conair brush. I'm going to go with Goody, though. But this brush actually has nine rows in it. Demon originally had seven. So this one is much more dense than the Demon is, but I'm going to show you how to modify this to pretty much get it to do the exact same thing. So as you can see, these side by side, you can tell how spacious the Demon is compared to this one. It is extremely dense. So first things first, what you want to do, and I know that this brush is dirty, guys, but what you want to do is if you notice the opening right here, this slides out and allows for you to clean the brush. So you want to apply some pressure and start to slide this portion out. Once you remove it, you'll have this piece and then you'll have the piece with the actual bristles. Now in the back, this opens up to reveal rows of bristles. What I like to do is take out every other row. And I've already started to pull out that row, but you basically just pull out the row and you remove it from the brush. So now you can tell where you removed this row of comb. And then you want to repeat that process. And once you've gotten it started, continue to pull the combs out of the brush. So I now have removed four combs from the back of the brush and you can actually see the holes that that has created. And then when you turn the brush over, you notice how much extra space that you have in between each set of bristles. So to put your brush back together, all you have to do is close this pocket back up so that it looks like this. Take the top of your brush handle align it with the bristles so that it looks similar to this and then you're just going to apply pressure and this does take you know a bit of strength and push the brush back into place so here are the bristles that we removed from the brush I took away four rows from this brush so now I'm left with five but like I said you can customize the brush to look the way that you want it to look so now this brush is 
much much less dense than what it was before and so here's the dimming and now here is the new dimming that we've now created that is a bit more dense than this one but it still is going to do the job and if I would like I could simply remove another row of bristles so loves I really really hope that this very simple and quick video is going to help you guys in modifying your dimming brush or your version of a dimming brush to help better detangle your hair and prevent your hair from snagging or breaking because the bristles are too densely packed. As always, you can leave your questions, comments, and concerns below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!